jazz saxophonist Amy Lee is back with me this morning. Amy is no stranger to the music world. She's been on the national, international music scene since 1990. She has toured and recorded with so many major artists, including Jimmy Buffett, who she toured and co-wrote with for 15 years. Currently, Amy is right here in Key West, fortunately for us. She's formed a new band called Jenkins Lee. Amy, thank you for being back on the show with me today. Well, thank you very much for having me. Well, it's always good seeing you, Amy, and talking with you. And let's talk first about Jenkins Lee, your band that you've recently formed. Yeah, uh, wonderful. Jenkins Lee is Woody Jenkins, guitarist and vocalist, mm -hmm. and myself, Amy Lee, and we formed our last names together to make Jenkins Lee. And we are currently working as a duo because it's very difficult to find band work in Key West, but our band comprises of the traditional instruments of bass, guitar, which is Woody, of course, vocals, Woody and Deb Hudson, the queen of Key West soul. Mm -hmm. um, she was named. And um, we do originals, many originals. Woody is a very diverse writer from country to rock and roll to smooth jazz. Mm -hmm. I'm a R&B writer, um, rock and roll. I co-wrote with Jimmy Buffett. So we have a whole mix of originals. Mm -hmm. And then we do songs from the Allman Brothers to Zac Brown as cover songs as well. Okay. Now, how did you and Woody make this connection, Amy? It's really a, a odd story. Woody has a Jimmy Buffett connection, mm -hmm. but he was with Jimmy, working with Jimmy in the late 80s, early 90s. I hooked up with Jimmy Buffett in 91. Okay. So we missed each other. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's an interesting story. I was down here in November during Meeting of the Minds convention, um, a big parrot head convention that happens in the no beginning of November, mm -hmm. and it was 2010. Mm -hmm. And Greg Fingers Taylor, Jimmy's uh, harmonica player that I went and toured with on the road, said, hey, there's this really great guitar player playing down at Hogsbreath. His name's Woody Jenkins. Come on down, sit in. <laughs> And so I said, okay, cool. And so I did, and that's how I met Woody. Okay. Come to find out, the second year that I came back down, we chit-chatted, I sat in again. I had the gig with them after sitting in with them. I had the week during Meeting of the Minds with them in 2011. And the Hugo Duarte Full Sail Band is mm -hmm. what Woody is still in and was with. And I, it comes to find out that he lives an hour and a half, or lived an hour and a half away from where I lived. Wow. He lived in Otto, North Carolina, and mm -hmm. I lived in Atlanta. But you guys didn't know each other. Didn't know. <laughs> so once I found that out, I started going up to Otto to rehearse with him, and that's when we started forming our originals and getting our music together. And then we decided in 2012 to just get out of the north, mm -hmm. <laughs> even though it was the south, it was too cold, <laughs> right. and head down to Key West and let's try Key West. He had lived here for several years um, mm -hmm. in the 80s and 90s and moved back up north. And so he was ready for the warmth, mm -hmm. too. And you were ready for it, too, weren't yeah. you? Well, you guys are a great duo, and you're playing all over the island, aren't you? Oh, yes, we are in Key West, as well as in some of the lower keys as well. Mm -hmm. We've played at Boondocks, and, uh, oh, gosh, I, it, I'm so bad with my memory. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, you're all over the place. And people, I am. <laughs> and people can find out your schedule and everything online on your Facebook page or on your website. Right. And now, Amy, I remember we talked the last time you were on, and one of the things that really made your music career, really started it, was when you sang at Martin Luther King's birthday. And we're going to be celebrating his life coming up. I owe my career in my heart and mind and soul to Martin Luther King, mm -hmm. Jr. He was eight... Um, Excuse me. 
I was eight when all of the happenings were going around, and he inspired me. Mm -hmm. And when I had the opportunity to play for his birthday celebration in 1990, Coretta Scott King was doing a speech, Jermaine Jackson was on the ticket, Charles Neville was on the ticket. They hired me to just come in voluntarily and play behind an a cappella choir singing We Shall Overcome at the beginning of the ceremonies while they showed all the horrific footage of the people being sprayed down with the hoses and the violence of, from the 50s, the Civil Rights Movement. Mm -hmm. And it was an incredibly moving experience mm -hmm. to me. And what my job was to do, as they solemnly sang, We Shall Overcome, was to watch the video and react on my instrument. So mm -hmm. I didn't sing, I mm -hmm. played saxophone. What an experience. And it was I incredible. Mm -hmm. And the producer of the show came up to me and said, can you do 30 seconds solo by yourself right after Coretta Scott King mm -hmm. says her speech? And I said, absolutely. <laughs> so. One thing led to another. She did her speech about equality for all, all races, genders, whatever. Mm -hmm. And then I came on stage, solo saxophone, no microphone, and blew a song. And it was a jazz song, mm -hmm. and it was um, just a beautiful song. It's, it, the experience itself was mind-blowing. Right, right. And from that point, the Neville brothers were on the ticket for the celebration, and Charles Neville, the sax player, listened to me and came up to me and said, do you want to be in my jazz group diversity for the New Orleans Jazz and Heritage Festival in New Orleans? And I said, absolutely. And that's where your career took off. Started. So. All right, well, we are running out of time right now, okay. Amy. But please check her out on Facebook and check her out her website. Amy, thank you for being back on this Thank morning. you very <laughs> much for having me. Stay with me.